What up, Nation? I'm Rock Var here with you doing another TC Universe Online test server video showing you some of the uh, changes and stat clamping coming to DC Universe Online when game update, uh, or when uh, game update, when uh, episode 41 launches later this month. We still don't have a date, so I'm not sure exactly when it's launching. In the meantime, I'm just going to bring you new and interesting things from the test server uh, as I see fit or as you request in the comments or chat. I <clears throat> excuse me I don't know if I'm going to be going through any more uh, open world zones and showing strictly boss fights I think we get the point that um, once you hit the next level up from uh, from Central City it's over the, the <laughs> and there's no more doing that and that may not be uh, able to be done once things go live on test their goal is to make sure boss fights stay boss fights so the whole thing was they don't want people to be able to go into an open world zone and just solo every boss fight and i'm not saying you should be able to i'm just saying i'm showing you that you won't be able to and so it was brought up in um comments that the stat clamp isn't is only really affecting your combat rating and the stats that you would get from your gear um, and it would not be necessarily affecting your SP and artifacts and so therefore it would make SP and artifacts count more which I think it does to a degree help them count more uh, but they are definitely clamped as well and I just noticed this today when I was checking this theory to see what would happen um, so I took off all my gear to see what it would look like you know what my stats are with absolutely no gear on no combat rating I've got a combat rating of zero and if I go to look at my stats the only stat I really care about might <laughs> so I've still got 14,368 might uh, without any gear on without any artifacts on so this is I'm to believe this is just from my SP um, and so therefore when I go into this open world zone if SP isn't clamped uh, this should stay the same that, that would be my logic right so I wanted to test that and what I found out was that's absolutely not true it is definitely clamped um, uh, now the argument can be made that it's only clamped to a degree excuse me to a degree so um, you know maybe SP does count still because if you didn't have 400 SP you wouldn't have still the might that they give you even though the might they give you isn't what it would you know the might that you've actually earned and so I actually do have uh, let's see I actually do have 427 skill points on this tune uh, only 289 of them are in might because I just haven't updated it yet since the new stuff came out and this is a test server tune so every one of these skill points was given to me I didn't earn any of these but um, let's see what it looks like when I go to the open world and we'll go just to each one so you can see how the clamp for SP may be the same or different uh, by tier so the first we'll go to, to tier 1 Central City alright so we're in Central City now you saw when we were in the last zone I had a combat rating of zero I haven't put on any more gear but when I come to Central City I'm automatically given a combat rating of 60 and so I don't know what that's about maybe it's just because it's on test technically I shouldn't be able to come here with a combat rating of zero and so I don't know why that is so let's go check out our stats might so my might with just SP should have been in the 14,000 range. When I come here, that changes to 2,782, and then for some reason it buffs me another 1,598. So I don't know why. And that, I mean 1,598, <laughs> not 15,000. So my total stats are like in the 4,000 range here for might, uh, when they should be in the 14,000 range.
So they're the, your SP are definitely clamped uh, when you come to the open world zones. So let's try another one. And I'm probably going to do some video magic and make this jump faster because it's going to be annoying <laughs> for you guys coming back here and going through this entire process. So probably starting about right now, I'm going to be skipping through um, via editing. But next we're going to go to tier 3. And we're just going to pick one. Uh, let's go to Doomed Metropolis. Doomed Metropolis. All right. Now my combat rating says 120. I am still not wearing any gear, so I don't know where the combat rating's coming from or how I'm getting it. It appears to be making me at level just by coming here. All right, my might jumped up a thousand or so in the regular area, and then they gave me a little bit more of a buff. So I'm getting closer to my true stats, but uh, my SP are still definitely being clamped. Let's go to the next zone. Tier 5. Let's go to Titan's Dock. Alright, now I jump up to a combat rating 238. I'm in the Titan Zone. I love this area. And... Alright. So looky here. Now we see a huge jump. In fact, it's 26,124, plus it's giving me a bonus of eight, or is that just the bonus? Is it saying we add those two numbers together, or is it just showing me the bonus that it's given me? I think it's just showing me the bonus that it's given me. Uh, so, not, yeah, now our might is 26,124. Okay. That's more than what I should have. So when I come to tier 5, it's actually buffing up my stats. We gotta double check that. We gotta double check that with what our might actually is. Alright, we're back into a, a normal zone. Uh, combat rating zero, as you can see. What are my stats? Yeah, my might should only be 14,368. So it looks like they actually buffed me up to get into the Titan Zone. Which is craziness, because I have 14,000... Or, excuse me, I have 420 skill points. I can't imagine that I would need to be buffed. That's... That's kind of mind-boggling to me. Let's try another zone. Here we are in 31st century New Earth. Oh, and my might gets another buff. And I'm up to 62,328. Again, I still have no gear or artifacts. Alright, we've got one more zone to check, I think. Oh no, we have two more, so let's go tier 6. Nope, that was tier 6. Alright, yes, now we're up to, to speed to the, at least the latest episode on live at the moment. We're going to episode 40. Here it brings me to a combat rating 322. And again, that could just be because normally, well... Yeah, normally you wouldn't be able to come to these zones, and I guess I remember they said they were taking that out, where it would be combat rating specific, so maybe it's just showing us that in name or no, number. <laughs> okay, so here I got another buff. 70,826 is my number. With no gear. So that is absolutely fascinating to me. My takeaway is that now open world content is gonna clamp you if you're over and it's gonna buff you if you're under so th what I'm what I think I'm understanding here is the game is making us what we need to be in order to do the content at somewhere close to level and uh, Wow 
Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know. I mean, so far in playing it, it seems to be working out just fine. But uh, in theory, why do you bother being top tier? Because you're just going to get placed in an area where you can play. I don't know. Think of, you know, let me know. Any more videos you want to do, we're going to test uh, maybe with arts next. So stay tuned for that video. Um, but be sure to sub, and we will see you on the other side. For Light and Bodhi, this is Rock Var saying, play on.